I will say that the timing of this particular election day in Arizona, it should be noted that we're coming just days after the death of John McCain. And, and certainly for that reason, this will be a primary day that will be remembered for a long time because it's been tough for a lot of people, uh, whether you're running or whether you're voting, to get out without having this heavy heart and this gray cloud of sorrow because of the passing of John McCain. Case in point, Joe Dana is standing by with John Shattuck, who was a very good friend of John uh, McCain. I spent Joe? some time in Washington, some time here. We have a new That's vote, right, I'm Tim. with uh, eight-term Congressman John Shattuck, first elected during the Republican Revolution in 1994. Congressman Shattuck, uh, thanks for joining us. What do, you make, what do you make of tonight? Well, it's a great night for the Republican Party, I think, and I'm a, a very uh, highly motivated fan of Congresswoman Martha McSally, who's going to win the Republican nomination tonight. I think she'll uh, do a great job of representing us. It looks like she has a lead of over 20 uh, percent. That's, that's very comfortable and very encouraging. It, of course, is cast in the light of the sadness of this weekend's uh, passing of, of John McCain. You've been, you were a close friend of Senator McCain. And what is it like to kind of go through the motions of this while mourning the senator's loss at the same time? In, in some way, it lifts you up. Um, I don't know that I was personally close to John McCain, but I was a huge admirer of, of him because of his role model. Um, here's a guy that was a hero in the military, uh, and then I think a hero in his leadership in Congress. He gave his entire life to serving the country. Uh, I helped him in the 2008 campaign, and in that campaign, kind of the motto of the campaign was his call upon Americans to do something larger than themselves. And he, he is, by any measure, an American icon. Do you think President Trump, who so often goes off script, will be a strength or a liability for Martha McSally and other Republicans in the general? Well, President Trump has an outstanding record, which has boosted the economy. I mean, it is a stark contrast. and. He is under a uh, raging assault by the media in a way that is simply not fair or uh, in any way makes sense. It's just an irrational, almost hatred. I don't think part of that's imagined. I mean, President Trump is, with broad brush strokes, painting an entire industry, uh, villainizing it. Uh, and you, you know the rhetoric. I, I really don't. Um, I get that he overstates it. And I get that he does a lot of things that step on his own message. And we could talk about other distractions, but I think the media really wants to get him very, very badly. And I think the American people are going to react to that and not react the way the, the media want it. I think they're going to react and say, look, if this guy is under that much attack and the economy's that good, we need to support him. Honorable John Shaddock, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Joe. Maybe we'll see you again in some other circles uh, on a podium again someday. Who knows? We yeah. appreciate it. Joe, can, Joe Guys, keep, back to can, you. Can you keep him there for a second and ask him? His name yep. has been floated as a possible uh, person that could be appointed to replace the late John McCain. Would he be interested, and has he been approached? Yeah, question from Mark Curtis. Uh, you know, your name has been floated as a possible replacement to uh, Senator McCain, and I, I know it's a sensitive issue, but is this a conversation you've had with Governor Ducey? Have you considered what you might say if asked? It's a question that you're welcome to ask, but it's a question I'm not answering. Um, this is a time to focus on tonight, uh, the primary elections and the people that have worked hard in those races. It's also a time to reflect on Senator McCain and what a hero he was and what an inspiration he is. I mean, the story about his plane catches on fire and he's on the deck of the aircraft carrier. He jumps out of the plane and then instead of going and seeking refuge, he grabs a fire hose and starts fighting the fire. That, if we want America to be a better place, we need role models like that to get attention. So uh, there are lots of good people whose names are on the list. Um, and. Uh, the governor will deal with that when it's time, not now. Fair enough. Thank you, John. We appreciate it. You bet.
All right, Joe, thanks.